This is the second part of the irrigation packing of the wound. I, I left off where I changed the old dressing and did the irrigation. Now we're going to take right over. And usually we do it in a two part, just like I'm showing you here. We'll do the irrigation, clean all that up, and then we bring all our sterile stuff up stuff out to set up. So we've got everything ready. He's ready to go there. Again, make sure you know the allergies because we're going to be actually packing into the wound. In this case, our order was saline, so we'll be pretty safe with that. Okay. Table looks clean and dry. It's at my waist level. Okay, my pack looks fine. The expir expiration date is good, and it'll tell you exactly what you have in here if you don't know. Okay, so we're going to open this up. Toss that. Now, remember, we open the flap away from us first, and then the flaps to the side, and then the last one will come towards it, and there's a one-inch margin that you can actually touch. And you see how they're dropping down to the side? Those, remember, down there are considered contaminated. My one-inch margin starts up here. And I'm moving this down because in just a little bit, I'm going to have to put my sterile gloves on, and I need the room across here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open my bottle. And the expiration is good on it. It hasn't been open more than 30 days. Put that there. Okay, now, when we open this up, there's a pair of gloves in it, and they're latex-free, which is good. Mash down on it so it'll lift up, so when you take these out, you won't contaminate what's there. So reach in and take them out. Okay. Then you want to come, and this is why I want this part of the table clear, because what I'm going to do is actually open my gloves here across here. If I open them on top of here, I just contaminated my field. So open them here where you can actually get to it, and you still have the one-inch margin. Okay. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to pick my right-hand glove up, and I'm going to put it on. All right, now, before I do anything else, what I want to do is reach over, and I'm going to go straight down this alley and get my saline, because what I need to do is take my sterile hand and remove stuff out of one of the compartments that I'll need, because I'm going to put my solution in there. And I'm going to move this to the edge so I'm not coming way over it with my arm. So I'm going to hold about one to two inches, pour some saline in, Come back down the alley here, back right there, not over the field. So that's ready to go now. So I look around. I'll be able to pack all the things that I need. So I'm ready to put my second glove on. I'm going to hold on to my paper, go under the cup. When I actually get ready to put my glove on, I'm going to hitchhike with that thumb. Okay. And just grab the center, the palms of my hands there. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and step back off my field and look at what I've got here. I know from the, what I see there, I'm going to need one to pack. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up and fluff it out a little bit. Makes it easier to actually do the packing. And go ahead and put that in. I'm going to need a couple to put over it and a couple to actually dry the peri wound again because I want to keep that peri wound. That's the good tissue around that wound so it's sterile or excuse me, not still, but clean and dry. Okay. Now I've got to stay out of that one inch margin, remember. Here I'm going to take out, and what I might need is my Q-tip, which is here, and what I also might need is my ABD pad to put over. So I have everything that I need, and looking at that, and just from experience, I know one of these 4 by 4s is going to do the job for me. Okay, I'm going to reach in, I'm going to squeeze the excess out, and I don't want to hover over my field, so that's why I've stepped over the garbage can here. Now, you want to fluff this out. There we go. Now, you can either use the Q-tip. Some people will use their fingers. Keep this in your hand, because if this drags on the skin, it's contaminated, and we'll have to start over again. Okay, so I want to go ahead and pack this in, and you want to pack it up underneath of the edge there. And one of the things about packing is you want to be sure and not pack it too tight, but you want to get it up underneath of there enough that you're covering the part that may abscess over if it starts healing from the top instead of the bottom out. The other thing is you don't want to have a really high dressing here where you've got a big lump because it puts pressure then on that particular wound bed and causes more problems. Now, be careful. I'm always wary about using the Q-tip 
like this, because if they jump, I could poke them, not intentionally. Okay. Now, that's all in, and if you see, the peri wound does not have any of that on the outside. Now, I want to take this and go from top and clean, toss, and go and clean again. And all I'm doing is drying that to keep it dry. Now, what I want to do is take these two 4x4s here, lay over it, Take my ABD pad, and by the way, now we don't have to be sterile here because the outer dressing is not sterile. Put that on. Now, unless you're in isolation, you can take your gloves off, and then hopefully you look to see what they were allergic to and know which tape to use. Okay? And again, just tab in the end here. And depending on where this is at is how you do your dressing, tape your dressing. Every dressing is a little bit different. The thing that I say to you when you get through, make sure the patient's okay with the way you've got it taped. Otherwise, they may try to untape it and redo it. Okay. And then the last part here is you want to autograph it. Remember your initials, the date, and the time that you actually did the, tra the dressing change. Okay. okay, now, at this point, I would ask them, get them repositioned, get them turned back over on their back, see if they're comfortable how they're doing, can I get them anything else? Um, if they're fine, just reposition them, get the call light and reach, put the bed back down if I put the bed up. Um, take and put their overbed stand back next to them and put their water, their telephone, whatever it is that they want there. This stuff, the saline left here goes into the commode, we pour it there, and all of this gets thrown into the garbage. Any drainage in that bag, that bag needs to be pulled out and taken to the soil utility room where the biohazard stuff is kept. Um, once you get through with that and cleaning this up, be sure and wash your hands and then go out and document your Rita and your salt.